Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Okay, off screen what I did is I went through every single chest in my house. And all the loose items in my house I picked up. The ones worth zero gold I stored in a barrel in the basement. But anything that was worth any type, any gold, I went and I haggled and I sold it. Um, other than that, that's all I did. <laughs> um, let me look at something. There is one more thing we could do. Um, We gotta go to the docks. <laughs> We're going to be causing some mischief with some pirates. Before we're done with Anvil. I have not looked in any of these boxes yet. Yes, I believe it's this one. Um, very hot. Let me wait. Uh, six, eight. I'll wait till ten. Okay. We're gonna pass some time. I do believe this door should be unlocked. Due to one of the DLCs. No? Do I legitly have to unlock this door? Oh, this is gonna be a pain in my butt. Ah. <laughs> uh, I suck with these. Okay. Ah. Hey, we lock pick one up. Come on. Ah. Okay. Really? There's that. One more. Oh, well. Welcome back to Let's Fell at Lockpicking. Whoops, that was way too early. I dislike these very hard locks. There's another one. Okay. Well, I'm going to need more lock picking, so we'll set this one off to the side for now. Real. Or lock picking. Well, that too. 
but I'll actually need more lock picks. Greetings to you. I know if I do, ooh, he might be there. We might be making a trip to the Imperial City. Specifically the stables. And we need more lockpicks. And I know if I join the Thieves Guild, right in the very beginning, you can just buy lockpicks on the uh, initiation quest. And later on, you can buy lockpicks from the... Oh, I need it to be more down. Oh. Okay, I guess... We're walking across the bridge. Slowly walking. Or, I guess we're just jumping across the bridge. We'll eventually get there. We found why I. Okay, I believe in here there's a guy. Psst. Hello. Hey, you need something special? Yeah. Check out my wares. You won't find this stuff at your local general store, that's for damn sure. Oh yeah, give me something special. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Ah. Ah, you don't sell what I'm looking for. Walk always in the shadow of... Of Sithis. Whoa. Okay. Well, we couldn't do that one. Um, what, uh, what are my skills? Sneak, security, marksman, light armor, acrobatics. Oh, okay. Oh, alchemy. <laughs> I guess uh, when it comes to alchemy, I'll focus on more poisons since I'm an assassin class. And blade. Okay. As for that... I will need... I leveled up. I need to find a bet. I need to, uh... Welcome to the water. Yeah, I want to rent a room. There's a fresh bed available to anyone who's got the ten gold. Would you like it? Yes, I'll take so it. So be it. Head upstairs and look for the last door on your right. That's your room for tonight. Sleep well. Okay. Have a fine journey and keep yourself safe. Last door on the right. We're only going to sleep for an hour. It's time to level up. Okay, put a point in luck, speed, and strength. Okay. Eventually locate that spot, but for now, what we're going to do is
We are heading to Breville. What is it? It's always a pleasure. To what I'm going to do eventually um, is grind out my skills to where I could be higher levels. <laughs> But before I do that, I'm going to show you how I'm going to grind my skills. Uh, alchemy, one hand, or uh, alchemy, all my weapon skills, and um, sneak are easy. Acrobatics, it's just running around and jump. It's just jumping around everywhere. Light armor, I gotta get a creature to repeatedly attack me over and over and over again until it levels up. Uh, the hardest one to level up on this list will probably be security. Uh, because I legitly just gotta go through and pick locks in order to level it up. And what I might do is go through everywheres in town and just, once I got more lock picks and just pick every lock <laughs> until it levels up. Um, as for sneak, I just gotta sneak around and uh, walk into a corner. Um, just out of sight of somebody to where it keeps detecting and hit, uh, making me hidden repeatedly. And that'll level sneak up. But yeah, as for the weapon skills, uh, Periite Shrine. The followers there are unkillable and they will not attack if you attack them because their souls are off in oblivion somewhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, um, I believe it's, I believe it's this one possibly. Let me get the quest that I'm looking for. Um, there we go. I'm sorry to impose upon you like this, but I'm in need of assistance and I don't know what to do. My husband, Alaron, is missing. Alaron Locke? It all started when Alaron became foolish and started gambling. He'd visit the arena every week and spend our hard-earned money on bets. I told him to stop, but he didn't listen. He was certain he could win us a fortune and move us somewhere nicer, like the Imperial City. It didn't take long for Alaron to begin losing. He resorted to borrowing money from a usurer to cover his losses and place new bets. Uh -huh. As you can imagine, it didn't pay off. He ended up owing around 500 gold. We could never have that kind of money to pay back the user. Hmm. What happened to Alaron? Yesterday, the user, Curden Gro Dragel, sent for my husband to meet him at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. He hasn't returned since. I fear for his life. Curden isn't known for his patience. Please, I'm not wealthy, but I'd give anything to see Alaron again. I'll help you. You... you will? Yes. Oh, thank you. Please be careful. I don't wish any harm to befall you either. Okay. Anything else you can tell him, tell me about Alaron? I do miss him so. And when he gets back, I'm gonna kill him for making me <laughs> worry like this. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. 
Farewell and be careful. Hmm, I believe that one... I believe... Okay, I think that that one might be over... Here. Yeah, I was right the first time. It is over here. Greetings. I'm going to be jumping around all the time until my uh, acrobatic skill is maxed out. And then I gotta go hey. upstairs. Huh? I'm there. Yeah, I, what do you want? I wanna talk to you, bish. We'll see. We understand. I'll take that, and thank you very much. I want to speak to you about Aller and Locke. Maybe I know him, maybe I don't. But since you're so interested, I know something that could jar my memory. And what's that? I just learned that a family heirloom, the Axe of Dragol, which one of my stupid relatives lost, is located on Fort Grief Island in Nibbin Bay. My informant tell me it's hidden in the main keep at the center. Don't know what's guarding it, but I'm sure you can handle it. If you go there and bring it back to me, I'll tell you exactly where Alaron is. If I don't return it? Then Alaron may not be coming home from his, uh, journey for a very long time. Like, permanently. Whenever you're ready, and it better be soon, I'll have a boat waiting for you to get to Fort Grief Island. Really? Yeah, it's a battle axe with the word Dragal carved into the haft. Huge. You can't miss it. I ain't gonna draw you a picture. Oh, come on. I need a picture. Time's wasting. He's safe for now. Really? Are you ready to go to the boat? Yeah, I'm ready. Fine. I have it waiting for you at the dock next to the magic shop. Now get out of my sight. Yeah, you're... Lucky I'm not making you swim. You're lucky I don't kill you, you pissant. <clears throat> well, now the pleasantries have got, been gotten out of the way. <laughs> Let's go to the island. I've arrived at Fort Grief. I should proceed inside the uh, ruined keep and begin my search for the axe. I think the most annoying quest that I'm going to have to go through on this one will probably be the Nern Root quest. <laughs> oh no. Uh you weren't supposed to it be. It appears here. as though Kurdan has tricked another poor soul with his axe story. <sighs> the axe of Dragal. You haven't guessed it yet. There never was any axe of Dragal. It was just a ruse to lure you out here. I fell for the same trick. In my case, he told me if I retrieved the axe, he'd erase my debt. I was such an idiot to believe him. You're now the prey in Kurdan's insane hunt, just like I am. And here we'll most likely die. Oh, I don't plan on dying. So, this is a hunt. Kurdan doesn't make most of his money being a simple usurer. He also invented what he calls the Hunter's Run. People pay him a great deal of money to hunt and kill living human prey. No questions asked, and he takes care of the bodies. Mm. He so uses he's the dungeons under the fort reef as the hunting grounds. I was placed here because he knew someone would go looking for me. I'm sorry you got mixed up in all of this. I hope you can fight. It's our only chance of escaping alive. <laughs> I have a boat nearby. Don't bother. The door to this place is now locked. The only way to get out is by descending into the hunter's run and killing the hunters. One of them will have the key to the door. That's Kurdan's rules. 
It's the only way we can win. I wish I could help more, but I can't fight. I've never held a weapon before in my life. Please, get us out of here. No worries. I got this. Curdan is treacherous. Be wary, friend. Ooh. Much. Forty five. Um... Let's see. We're going to be using our assassin skills on this, so we'll equip our bow. Okay, so this is the place we need to get into. I assume there's going to be traps. Oh. I'd better cut down on the ale. It's starting to see things. Ah! Yeah. Starting to see things. Like an arrow to the back. Um. I might switch from fur to leather. Hey, I got the first key. Fur boots is one armor class. Leather boots is one. Okay. Okay, all I need is the uh, fur helmet. Ooh, I'll take that ring. There's a rat. There's another rat. Okay. Skeletons and jewelry. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, here's another trap. Okay, so there's the first one, the second one, and the third one. Okay, so we got past that trap. Ooh, what's in the chest? I'll take the healing potion. I'll gladly take the healing potion. Um, we should be getting close to another hunter. Okay, so stick to the wall. And the floor's collapsed here. And I believe, yep, spike trap. Okay, we gotta cross that. I'll take the arrows. Thank you. Alright, and that path right there leads down to the spike trap. Okay, now we need to hug the wall. And, ooh, just stepped out of sight. Oh! Got him. I'll take my arrow back. Um. Yeah, I don't need it. Take this, take the second key. Yay, more chests. Okay, I'm gonna sell the- ooh, e okay, easy lock.
Then we need to go here. Oh yeah. And the last hunter or two should be here. Ah, I missed. Give me my arrow and that lockpick. I'll take that. Okay, now come down here. Yeah, that tripwire would have activated the poison gas. I have so far successfully dodged the tripwires, except for the very first one. Um, potion of sorcery. I can sell that too. Okay, so the final one is in here. There he is. Oh, too bad. I defeated all the hunters. I should search the body of the orc hunter for the key to the keep door of Fort Grief. Um, I'll take that and that. I found the key to the door of the keep. Uh, at Fort Grief. I should return to Alloran and get us both off the island. Mmm. Okay, we're gonna have to pick and choose. Fifty. Uh, how much are they worth? Oh, fifty. Um... And wait. Okay. So give him this. And then I will take these two. Which is almost the sum of that. And then... 56 more. Let me see what I can do. It's 12. I'll go ahead and take that and that, and then I will put the shield on his body. There we go. Okay, so that should have been the last of the hunters in this place. There might be more rats. I have no idea. I don't remember. Oh, I guess I should have just went over here first. Grab the seven gold, and then we can get out. Save Alaron. Ooh, chest. We killing. Um... Let me see. Nope. Gotta go this way. Right? Yeah. There's the hunter. Okay. Let me see. We are going to exit here. Ooh. I'm impressed that you killed all my clients. Doesn't matter. More will come along with their purses fat with gold and hearts lusting for blood. Hmm. Too bad about Alloran. Didn't need him anymore now that you're here. At least now he's free of his debt. 
But I won your game. Do you really think I can afford to let you leave here? The key you found is a fake. No prey has ever left this island alive. Hmm. And I aim to keep it that way. You were right about one thing, though. This is my game, and I'm changing the rules. Oh, so you're... So you're an ass. Okay, and take the steel arrows and the gold. And now it's time for curtain. Wherever he went. Okay. Um There's those. I'll take the key. The key I discovered on the Orc Hunter was indeed a fake, and the real key was on Curtin's body. He never intended to let us leave whether we won this uh, demented hunt or not. The real key should allow me to unlock the gate room inside the Hunter's Run and leave Fort Grief. I will then have to bring uh, Ursani the sad news. By how much? Hmm. That one mean. Okay, I can drop these two. There we go. The door opened with Fort Grief real key. Eight gold. Okay. Now we can leave again. <sighs> well, that was unfortunate. I believe it's this one. Ah, the door's locked. Wait three hours. See what happens. Okay. It's unlocked. I fear grave tidings. Something's wrong. I can tell. What's happened to Aleron? Sorry, Ersani. He's dead. When I saw the grave look on your face, I knew something had happened to him. And what of that fetcher, Curtin? He lives no longer. Then Aleron's death has been avenged. I told him that the gambling would lead to this, that foolish man, but he never listened. Before you go, I have this for you. Aleron told me that if he ever got in trouble, this could be used to bail him out of jail. He'll not be needing it any longer. And I want you to have it. I'll not take no for an answer. I know you did all you could. And for that, I thank you. Now please, go in peace. I wish to be alone. Huh. Let me see. Biography of the Wolf Queen. And with that, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.